Bismillahir Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself, an abdika laji sadaifu, miskeen, uzan, and mujahad. And but for the grace of Allah and Allah's rahmah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah, Hajjah, we can recite Surat al Zilzila that on this 11th lunar month and the reality of nine, Allah released for us these nine verses, eight verses and one Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and the immense power of this holy surah and on a the reality of the mirror and Allah linking that with Surat Al Zalzala, inshaAllah. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحد أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يصدر الناس وشطاتا فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَهُ Sadaqallahul Aliyul Azim Sadaqallahul Azim wa barakatuhu Rasulul Kareem Fa'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem And when the earth is shaken with its earthquaking and the earth and she discharges her burdens and mankind will ask of it what's wrong with her and the day will report its news because your Lord has commanded it. And a day when people will depart into groups and they'll be shown their deeds and whoever has an atom weight of good will see it and whoever has an atom weight of evil will see it. Sadaqallahul Azeem wa barakatuhu Rasulul Kareem. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen that only Allah come into our lives and describe on this way of marifa that the earth represents us and represents humanity and that the moon represents the guidance and the sun represents the prophetic light and that these three elements and our place within this spiritual path that this earth of ours Allah will show you upon the horizon and within ourselves. So when we meditate and contemplate we also look and meditate upon the horizon because Allah is giving to us a guidance that the horizon is easier for people to understand sometimes because they don't want to look inside, they're maybe worried about what they'll find. And as soon as this journey ends on the 11th month or enters into the 11th month that this immense mirror is going to reflect because 12 is the perfection 
is the pilgrimage, is the hajj in which 12 months like a cycle to reach a perfection and to reach this cycle and then again begins on the first month of Muharram the journey is an eternal journey. But we are moving through these 12 veils of light eternally and when we reach to the 11th Allah is, is giving for us because the Qur'an commands the earth. Means everything of Allah's speech commands all of creation and for the inhabitants of earth who don't want to look inside Allah's warning that on the month of zilzala that when an earthquake comes the earth doesn't want to carry burdens of humanity. That the, the burdens become too much as we're entering into the last days. And nothing wants to carry humans, the earth does not want to carry the burdens of what people do upon it and thinking that they're not seen by God, that they don't know the evil they do that it's seen. And the earth is describing and Allah is describing, no that she will throw and cast everything out. And as soon as Allah gives the command that you can cast because they're all complaining to Allah all creation is complaining, all of nature is complaining that these humans that you favour they are destroying everything, they are abusing everything, they are of a burden and oppressing themselves and everything. Means this is the exterior and the earth will cast its burdens out. And when it begins to convulse and convulse with everything that comes means every time there's an earthquake there's too many burdens on earth and it shoots everything out, it's disgusted by it. And it wants to do it sooner but it has to wait for the isharat and the command from Allah that, okay don't carry anymore. And then when it doesn't want to it begins to shake as if wanting to swallow all of humanity. Means that these are the signs of burdens. When oppression and burdens are too much in an area they begin to quake. And the whole reality of quaking means all of the testing, all of the shaking, everything in our life because if the earth is symbolic of ourselves then everything is quaking. And with every contraction means every quaking is a squeezing. And after the squeezing will become an expansion because when the earth releases after contraction the expansion means it releases the burden, it throws it out. Within ourselves means that every contraction, every difficulty, every testing that comes our bodies are continuously contracting. Because the, the tajalli and the, the tajalli of that reality that it's, it's a haybah, it's a very majestic energy from Allah that sends upon a person and humanity that begins to squeeze them. And then Allah give for us that what's hidden within the person will begin to come out. Means then the realities and the soul and its realities Allah wants the quaking of insan and people, humanity so that the reality of their soul can begin to come out. And for those whom their atom weight is good then this month becomes a month in which they can see its goodness and Allah give to the smallest understanding. Because the atom they didn't have that expression at that time but they would use the small ant Mawlana Shaykh would describe that there's an ant that's so tiny, very, very tiny and that was their example that they would give that something so tiny if done good Allah's writing that goodness and that's why the deeds to be good, the actions to be good because every goodness that we do Allah gives us ten times that award. So that they inspire within us, do these goods 
Because on these journeys that we're going Allah will always be quaking, Allah's opening the physicality to bring out the realities that we have been dressed upon by our actions and our deeds and our love and what Allah has multiplied upon them on the soul and He wants to bring out all their goodness. And that those whom are doing their bad Allah will also bring out that this is the badness of your character. So that when it comes out they have the ability to ask Allah's forgiveness. That even when the bad comes out Allah is giving them the, do you see this badness? Then ask for forgiveness and correct oneself from badness and move towards the oceans of goodness. And the immensity of that being on the month of 11 because of the Divinely mirror that Allah wants to dress from the Divinely Presence, these realities upon the soul. These realities upon the soul can't be understood until the physicality is brought down, hence the quaking. Even we came into this world with a human body that was continuously contracting because the, the womb of the mother is in a contraction and as a result of contracting then brings out the birth of the child. So it means that everything is quaking, everything is shaking, everything is continuously squeezing and that after difficulty comes ease, after difficulty comes ease but that Allah wants something. Allah wants the beauty of the soul, the perfection of the soul and that's why that these are 11 months moving towards the oceans of goodness. And that, that Hajj is a month in which everybody makes intention, Ya Rabbi my intention is for my Hajj to have an audience with your Divinely Kingdom, to be granted to reach to Arafah. To, to reach to that reality, to be dressed by the perfection of our faith. And that's why then we talked the other night that all of the symbols of, of Hajj are the completions of faith until we reach towards the qurban and then Allah gives for us that the qurban was an immense sacrifice, immense blessing. That whatever the servant didn't achieve from Allah's ridha and satisfaction that the qurban takes that difficulty from the servant and as a result they become purified. That creature carries the burden and the servant then is dressed by Allah's satisfaction and that's why Allah describes it was a tremendous ransom. Means that instead of punishing at the end of the finish line that we reached to the pilgrimage and now Allah then punish the servant but He says that, my mercy outdoes my wrath. And everywhere we look is the mercy of Allah the mercy of Sayyidina Muhammad the mercy of awliyaullah teaching us that at every turn and at every corner Allah is dressing and blessing us. Allah is trying the best to perfect us and that's so that we run towards His Divinely love and run towards His Divinely presence. That in the finish line don't worry that if you think it's not going to be complete, it's not going to be perfected, it's not going to be great. I gave to you a tremendous ransom. Means the qurban that you do is not something small. Whether you make qurban on an egg, you make a qurban on a chicken, you make a qurban on getting a sandwich and giving it to the poor if that's the extent of your qurban. But with that intention, Ya Rabbi I'm asking to reach towards your pilgrimage. I'm reaching towards your ridha and satisfaction that, that you're, you're, you be satisfied and forgive me my wrong, de my wrong deeds and accept from me these qurban and that take my burdens away from me, my badness away from me and perfect and purify me so that this 12 months of moving into your pilgrimage to be dressed and to be blessed. We speak about it now because as soon as we enter into Zul Hajj everybody misses it. So why you didn't tell us about Salatul Kafara of Ramadan, Ramadan oh we passed it we missed that one Salah that would have been a thousand years of Salah. So we talk about it earlier 
so that people don't miss these opportunities and these blessings. We pray that Allah inspire us, we've talked on, on the deepness of the Divine Mirror, the deep and the depth of La ilaha illallah that can't be seen and anybody who wishes to reach to that reality Allah gave to us Muhammadun Rasulullah And when we run to that reality, when we love that reality more than we love ourselves Allah will reveal Himself through the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah And that understanding of Zulfiqar that's the understanding of eleven, that's the understanding of the secret that Prophet gave to Imam Ali and all these holy companions. That you hold the secret of my Lam Alif, mean you know my relationship. You know the secret of Alif and you know the secret of Lam and as a result they hold the Lam Alif at the base where there's a Hu and they hold that reality of La ilaha illallah and the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and bringing people towards that reality, inspiring with them that if you want to reach La ilaha illallah then you must first go to the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah As a result of that ishq and that love for Prophet they will meet the reality of La ilaha illallah that cannot be witnessed on heavens or on earth but except the heart of His servant Muhammadun Rasulullah We pray that Allah dress us and bless us by the immensities of these realities and that to have a life in which we sit and contemplate. That when we watch the videos sit and contemplate, take some notes, busy schedules and slow down the busy schedule and, and take a life in which we can slow down and contemplate these realities and not let life move so fast that we become distracted. All those distractions don't mean anything to Allah When Allah asked the servant, what did you do with the time that was given to you, the money that was given to you, the access to realities that were given to you, we can't come back and say, we were busy with dunya means that everyone has to have a discipline within themselves to find a time to understand, to learn, to be a student of the way, to meditate, contemplate and continuously revive their heart with these energies and with these blessings inshaAllah. And that Allah dress us and bless us and that the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad to be upon us inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.